here's a little tour of my camp surrounded by uh, electri electrified fence. I've got multiple, two chargers here, but only one is in use. The other one is for standby. <clears throat> the gate, the fence is on right now. With plastic handles. Can still be moved as long as you don't touch the wires. So the gate is now closed. There are the chargers, the spare wire, and the ground, which is very important. This is one of the dummy lights. If it's not flashing, it means there is uh, current in the fence, about 7,000 volts pulsing. Fence has surveyor tape on the wires. I've got five wires, surveyor tape to uh, have a little visible, visible barrier to the bears, and also if they come real close to uh, the fence, if they investigate one of them, they'll get a shock and, and go away. Uh, two tripods set up here, one with uh, Right now, with a wide angle lens, 24 to 70. Then I use for scenics and wildflowers. Uh, my bigger tripod with my 100 to 400 lens with a 1.4 converter, and I've got a mic on it, Sony digital mic, and then two mics running into a small. 32-bit float recorder. I have a Bluetooth remote for the camera on the on the pan bar, and I have some headphones plugged into the recorder so I can uh, kind of monitor the sound. That I only use them when I'm stationary here in camp. My tent, our tent, but it's just mine this trip. North Face VE25. I think this is the fourth time it's been used here. Maybe fit five, but I think four, uh, fourth or fifth time anyway. Really good tent. I like it a lot. I have never taken any water. It has sustained some pretty strong winds and strong gusts here. We are exposed to the south, that little body of water is not usually there, it's just kind of filled up the other day. It's usually just a little moist wetland. And Mount Douglas and, and surrounding mountains to the south, so this uh, south, southeast and southwest direction uh, is pretty exposed to the camp, so when it's blowing from those directions, it can be uh, bothersome here at camp. Then there's the tarp, uh, currently set up at night. I usually drop it down uh, or when it's really blowing and stormy during the day I can reconfigure it into kind of an A-frame and it'll be lower to the ground but uh, still room inside to uh, to eat and cook just outside. There's another tripod with the Swarovski scope, the 20 to 50 power eyepiece. I'm currently monitoring a female, adult female with a uh, cub of the year. Yep, still out there, quite distant. Quite distant. They are clamming, or she's clamming, and the the cub is uh, getting fed as well. Some gulls out there. And so the tarp, currently very light wind, so it's up higher than it would be otherwise. Plastic bag for my camera. 
I bring along a camp chair for this occasion so I can be comfortable sitting out when the bugs aren't too bad and it's not blowing or raining too much. Have my coffee and breakfast and also eat dinner. Underneath the tarp is the bug-free environment, uh, BFE, I think this is version 3. It's been in use for quite a few years now, but hangs under the tarp and uh, provides some uh, control of mosquitoes and uh, other bothersome insects uh, for eating or just sitting in there and whatever, reading. One, two, three, about nine sandhill cranes just flying over. They are frequently feeding out on the tidal flats at low tides. Okay, my stove and remaining water supply. If it doesn't rain here in the next day or two, uh, I'm going to have to go fetch water, which is a bit of a task in this location. And then it also into the tarp at the end here is the sled that I use for hauling gear back and forth uh, to the beach for, you know, from the float plane to this area when, when I arrive and then when I'm leaving. And now it is under a uh, low point in the back of the tarp to collect rainwater when it rains. I've already it rained a little bit early on here and I collected a canteen's worth of water. I think it's about 92 ounces of water. There's only a little bit in there right now. But uh, if it rains for any period of time, I uh, collect quite a bit of water there. Okay, that's pretty much it. Oh, another dummy light that I can watch when I'm over on this side of the tent. If it's not flashing, it means the fence is working. Now to the west of me, I'm sorry, to the east of me here is this berm, vegetated berm, running basically north to south. Uh, provides me some shelter when the wind is from the east. And the, Northeast, east, southeast. Uh, pretty good shelter that way. To the back of me, to the north, is a little bit of a rise. Drops off just the other side of that, uh, of the grass there. Drops down a couple of feet and then slopes down the beach to the tide line. Bear trail is right over here between me and the base of the, uh, the berm. Like I said, a little water feature there, usually just a moist spot, a little wetland. And then over uh, to the west a little bit is a small berm that I often use to scan around. More in the open meadows there, sedge meadows, to the south of this little pond. And then there's just a little dip here between the the low berm and this berm that goes up to the beach and down. Uh, and bears will pass through there. Bears will come around the end of the berm. Uh, bears will come up from this bear trail behind me. And sometimes bears come from that direction and pass on that side of my camp, the, the west side of my camp. But they can be pretty much anywhere at all, at any time, as I found out yesterday. But there was no consequence to that. Okay, brief tour of mountains to the south. A little, uh, a little clouded in today, overcast. Yesterday was clear and sunny. Okay, end of tour.